Well, everybody thinks that water conducts electricity, but does it really? What I have here is a conductivity apparatus. Basically, it's a light bulb with two electrodes for in a tank full of water and electrical cord to be plugged into the wall. There is two pieces of metal which will be submerged in water and we'll see if the water is conductive or not. Right, well, just to prove that it does work, I'll have a piece of wire going across touching both of the electrodes that will be submerged in the water, not yet. Just to prove it, there is a complete circuit. So let me use the variac and we'll give it a test here. And as you see, the light bulb does light up. Now, we'll fill up the bison full of water and try to light it up, alright? This is regular tap water from the faucet. There is no salt or anything added to the water. That should be enough. Now, crank it up again. Variax, 80 volts. Now it's at 120. I don't see light bulb load lighting up, do you? I don't think so. So is the water not conductive? Doesn't seem right now. Let's try it with some salt. Well now I have some table salt right on this little container. We're going to slowly pour it into the container and see what happens. Alright, let's see what happens. Look at that! <laughs> Fully lights up. Salt is actually helping conduct the electricity in the water. Water by itself will not conduct electricity very well at a low voltage. At a high voltage, of course it will. The salt is working as an electrolyte to help conduct the electricity, thus lighting up the light bulb. Alright, so I hope you learned something today. It's quite an interesting little device I made. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later.